Well, first of all, hello to everybody. Uh, my, I, I am not representing anyone or anything, and I don't know why I'm having the honor to, to speak here and share uh, my ideas on, on the future uh, of our education, but I would like to believe that I want to speak from experience, and luckily, I've been an athlete my entire life, ever since I was born, or ever since I started swimming. And I want to present just a different concept of, in my opinion, what is education. Uh, sadly, I had, I'm so grateful I had the best experience education-wise, uh, going to an international school most of my life, uh, finishing my studies in, in Berkeley, continuing uh, brain research in San Diego, finishing my master's in performance psychology, so all of it has been there. But really what stuck with me and what brought me most value in life is my swimming pool. And every single life lesson I had to learn to, to be resilient, to be strong, uh, to dream, to visualize, to be confident, to set goals, be motivated. I mean, there's absolutely how to communicate, how to power through challenges on a daily basis, whether mental or physical, it was just that, if you can imagine, one lane line that taught me absolutely everything. And what I'd like to share with you today is the idea and the importance of self-care. Um, as a lifelong athlete, I learned how to be selfish. And if I wanted to be a champion, I had to take care of myself first. And I think that we can all agree that the core, core, core of our human experience is to feel good. Is there anyone here who doesn't want to feel good every day? I mean, right? Hopefully, there's some sort of life where on a daily basis, we have the right as humans to feel good. And um, I was lucky that I got to learn that through sports. And trust me, I didn't feel good at all. I mean, I was tortured, not well, <laughs> physically tortured every single day, five hours a day. I was training 16 kilometers a day for 20 years of my life, waking up at 4.40 a.m. to jump in the water at five before school and then run to school and train again. And so it wasn't a feel-good feeling. But what I think is important to share as a, from a perspective of a student athlete how lucky and how fortunate are we that we have the ability to physically move, to be healthy, to tap into our bodies, but even more so tap into our minds. And every single day I got to experience the power of the mind-body connection and, and how that affects me as a human being and my functioning and my potential and where I'm going. So in the education system, as I'm realizing today and throughout my experience, uh, physical education is really no longer a priority because we don't have time, because we need to memorize facts instead of moving. But, I mean, it's not, not that I have to quote or mention research, but we all know how important movement is. And we need to move. I mean, uh, what happens if you just sit on a couch or, well, how horrible is it if you're sitting on a chair all day, every day, studying 24 hours a day, or working 24 hours a day. You like, you like get up and you're like, oh, my back hurts, oh, I feel terrible. <laughs> and then what happens when your body doesn't feel good? Your mind doesn't feel good. Yes, your mind doesn't feel good, so you're like, oh, but I'm tired and I don't feel good. And then, and then your mind doesn't feel good. Well, I, it doesn't matter where it starts. It's one or the other. You could possibly like be tired, mentally exhausted, and then you think, well, I'm tired, and then you sit on the couch, and you start making up these excuses why you shouldn't go for a 20-minute run. Or you have so much homework to do that there's no time to stretch, right? So for me, I just got to learn through my entire life the power of tapping into my body. I, and I, I'm, luckily, I got to train that awareness and say, okay, I need to feel good. We need to feel good in our own body so that we can be confident, we can be healthy, and then productive, right? We need to mentally feel healthy. We need to be aware of our thoughts, of our breath, of our body. We need to be aware of the surrounding environment so that we can handle and manage stress. No one ever talks about the idea of, well, when I was five years old, I had to learn how to focus on my breath 
in swimming because otherwise I would choke and drown. But I didn't know the power of focusing on my breath was also to learn how to stay focused and, and train how to calm myself down when I'm nervous. And right, all these things that l luckily athletes learn in life naturally. In school, nobody teaches you how to like stand. You, how, how do you think athletes come to Olympics? Like this on the block? Do they come like this? No, right? We learn, we learn the power of body language. We learn, um, I mean, all, all these beautiful connections of what it means to be healthy on an every single day basis. And mentally, yes, we meditate. I mean, oh, and we visualize and we, we use our mental power to, to power through challenges. In school, nobody teaches you how to handle uh, stress, anxiety, right? And then the trap is that you're too busy caught it in your mind instead of finding stillness. And that that can lead to depression and anxiety and all sorts of different mental disorders that today's students are facing. Without being aware that if you take care of yourself first, which means physically and mentally, you'll be way more productive. You need to work out you, because you sleep better, you make better choices, you eat healthier. When, when that all happens, you feel better mentally. Your brain, when you go for a 20 minute run, will feel fresher. I studied neuropsychology and we did brain research. We looked at how, how exercise and meditation affects your cognitive performance in class. Your brain is faster, it's um, better cons uh, memory consolidation, it triggers neurogenesis, more brain cells. Um, you're, you find that clarity as well so that you can breathe, you can think. Right, because at the end of the day, why we need to tune into ourselves is because you need to listen to yourself. And if you're constantly hijacked by your own thoughts and emotions, there's no, absolutely no time to tune into who you are. And we were talking about today the essence of being. How, how are you supposed to be if you're not even aware and on this autopilot running through life, studying, being busy, and not even tuning into yourself? Right, so school doesn't teach you that. And as an athlete, I'm so lucky that sports taught me that. And I, I really genuinely believe that school needs to promote mental health, teach you about how the brain works under stress, how, what does it mean to meditate, and right? There's a really nice quote that says that your body benefits from movement, but your mind benefits from stillness. We don't find stillness anymore. Right? You don't just get to be present, because you're constantly thinking and rushing. So my proposal is really encourage that mental and physical well-being. And I know you're going to say, we don't have time, I don't have time, I don't have time. Everybody has time. If you're just aware of your posture, you're training awareness. If you're you know, paying attention to your thoughts or your breath, you're training awareness. The more aware you are, the more resilient you are. If you're paying attention to your body, it will be grateful for you, to, to you for the rest of your life so that you can live till you're 100 and, and be healthy. Because without that mental and physical health, you cannot be you, you cannot be productive. It's very hard to fulfill your potential when you're caught up in physical and mental stress. So that's just my perspective from a point of uh, athlete. I think I'm not telling anybody to work out and, and pay attention to your mind, but if you have a chance, do that. That's the priority. Accumulating facts is not a priority. I know maybe some schools you know, put that pressure on you to do so, but there's time for everything. So take care of yourselves first, and, uh, and then you'll be way better than you think you can actually be. <laughs>